So in this video clip I'm going to show you the process of taking your interior design that is already located inside your tiny home and you're going to alter that design to reflect what your custom design will be. So that includes putting all of the furniture that you planned for in your 2D floor plan into this new house as well as any other items that need to be included in your interior design. So first of all let's go ahead and make sure that we can find the interior design animation. It's going to show up here in the top where you see these different tabs. So these are all different views like we talked about before and on the right hand side of the screen are the layers that are turned on in order to show you these different views. So I'm right now in the interior view from the loft. I can go to the interior view from the kitchen and this is where I'm going to be working right now. So for now I want to take a look at one of these components before I delete it and find out where it's located on the specific layer that is it's associated with. So I right click on the item, hit Entity Info, and it says on the layer, Interior Lower Items. So if I were to bring in an item right now, I would need to bring it in, import it, and then make sure that I move it to that specific layer. Okay, so this couch right here is on the wrong layer. It says Layer 0. So I'd have to move it to the specific layer that it needs to be on. So now bringing in your own items, I go to File, Import, and I need to go and look for the item that I want to bring in. I'm going to bring in a new couch to replace the one that's there. So I make sure that I'm on the SketchUp Models, SKP Models, and hit Open. What this does is it can bring in all the items that you might have saved in one SketchUp model. And if that's the case, then it might be a good idea to um, make sure that the item is outside of the house. So I'm going to take it outside of the house. So zoom all the way out. Bring it out. And if you have more than one item sitting around here, right click on it and hit explode so that you just have one single item and it's not attached to everything else okay now bringing that back into the plain view that I need I'll just delete it and go back into the interior view from the kitchen and then go to file import bring in the couch hit open I'm gonna put it right here for now zoom around a little bit to see where it is right click on it entity info and move it to the specific layer that you want it to be on so the interior lower lighting or lower items that's the interior lower items now that is located in that specific layer then to move it around and position it you're going to need like I said this item right here is a little too big so I'm gonna go ahead and right click on it and hit explode so it's just going to give me the couch then from here move it position it where you want it to be and then wait for you to see the red rotate options that will appear on the screen to move it around where you want it to be. Okay, So obviously it's going to take a little bit of time to get that position where I want it to be. I can always zoom out and do a section view to make it a little easier for me to position things by going to view. Actually it's in tools, section plane, and I'm going to work on this side, so click on this side right here. And it's loading. And then I have to zoom in a little bit further on this section view. So click on these arrows to move them with the move tool. I'm still on the couch, so there we go, they're blue. So you can now see that I'm inside the house and I can move it around. I can move the couch where it needs to be, and now I can see the red um, plus signs that you see too. If if your computer becomes lagging, okay, it's slowing down because it's too busy trying to render all the graphics that are on the screen, my suggestion to you is to go to view, go to face style, and then decide to go with shaded rather than the shaded with textures, and it should speed up the performance of the computer as well as the program will then obviously benefit from those changes. Alright, so that's all that I'm going to show you at this point. Once again, I've reviewed how to import SketchUp models that you've saved before from your 3D floor plan and inserting those directly into your house as well as relocating those items onto the correct layers that correspond with the animations.